from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Specialist fabrication company Efficient Engineering is dedicated to helping address South Africa's high unemployment rate by facilitating skills development, but also realizes the value of investing in automation to ensure the company's sustainability. Tracy Hancock tells us more. Efficient Engineering is increasingly automating its manufacturing facilities in Gauteng and expects to commission a state-of-the-art CNC floor boring machine in July, which is one of the biggest of its kind in South Africa. This follows delivery of an automated welding machine for its pressure vessel division this year. The automatic tube to tube sheet welding is, is but one aspect. Uh, we're also looking at uh, robotic welding in certain um, high volume items on our dump bodies, which is uh, it's a future plan. And then we've also invested quite significantly in a state of the art CNC uh, floor boring machine, which is, I've actually got the engineers over in uh, Czech Republic at the moment. They're doing the factory acceptance testing there. And that machine should arrive here in June, July. A manufacturer of mining, materials handling, minerals processing and petrochemicals and oil and gas equipment on behalf of original equipment manufacturers, Efficient Engineering committed 59 million rand in the previous financial year towards automation. And with this automation comes various benefits. Input costs will definitely be reduced significantly. Quality is, is, uh, is one of the drivers as well, consistency in, in terms of quality and uh, repeatability. Um, and the other aspect is time to market will be reduced significantly. But while this automation will play an important role in the company's sustainability, it's also a catalyst for training. We train in-house, you know, so when we, when we get technology of that nature, like we did with the tube to tube sheet welding, we took one of our welders to France to be trained. He will come back and he will train other artisans to, to do uh, or to be able to operate that machine. And the same with the machines that we buy in the uh, floorboard. We will have people brought out from Czech Republic to train our people and uh, that is part of our strategy to develop that skill and retain that skill in-house. Efficient engineering also advances skills development through its apprenticeship program. We have quite an extensive apprentice training program, which uh, I don't think is priority for a lot of other entities in South Africa. And uh, our business is very dependent on the, the caliber of skills we require to manufacture, especially uh, the petrochemical equipment. So we spend a lot of time in, in uh, developing the youngsters, giving youngsters opportunities to grow and do apprenticeships within the organization. And uh, we currently have 12 apprentices and we're just waiting for further grants from the Masita to employ possibly another 22 apprentices. Nurturing leadership qualities in youth is also important to the company. We've got uh, young supervisors, young foremen on a um, leadership development program. So they spend uh, two, two days a month over a six month period and it's a formal qualification they will receive which will prepare them for opportunities related to leadership in the organisation in the future. While Efficient Engineering is concentrating extensively on automation, the company is cognizant of the fact that it is an employer. We are an employer <laughs> and we're trying to, to assist with the employment problems we do have in the country, but if we want to make significant strides in reducing input costs, we have to look at automation in certain areas. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.